Hi again, John from Copper Wi-Fi, and we have a kind of a unique scenario here on our demo lab. I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade a USG to a USG Pro Unify. So we have it over here, Mike, if you want to come in. Um, and we've also simulated some other things where I haven't adopted. So here's our Unify up here, or uh, the Unify USG that we had before. And then in the middle we have our USG Pro, which is currently plugged in. However, I'll show you in the video later that it is not adopted yet. It is currently handing out DHCP just like it's uh, supposed to. It's adopted the, the uh, internet for the uh, demo lab. But what we're going to do is we're going to simulate two IDF locations that are going to go out for Unify Pro APs, the AC Pros. Uh, still going to be controlled by a cloud key, uh, but what we're going to do is we're expanding our network and we're growing with it and showing you guys how to do that. All right? All right. So we're in our controller here, and it's at 192.168.1.12, and this is the IP address of the cloud key. And so once we get here, click on manage, and then I've already put my username and password in before that. So you can see we have a couple broken links here. We're not getting out to the, to the World Wide Web. Our WAN is showing down, LAN's still up, and our Wi-Fi is also down. So let's go over and look at the device list here. And under devices, we have our AP switches, phones, everything that is Unify. And we can see that our original USG is disconnected. And that's because we unplugged it from, from the switch down there and moved all the WAN connections over. The Unify Security uh, Pro 4 port is there. So you'd think we can just hit adopt, but it says only one gateway can be assigned to each site, which if you think about it makes a lot of sense. So let's go ahead and take the USG uh, off of the network here. So we'll just click forget under configuration, confirm that. So now that it's gone, you'd think we should just be able to adopt the other one, and that is exactly right. So we'll come over, we'll click adopt, and it will put it into the provisioning process. This process takes, oh, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute or so. Let's take a look at the lights on the front of the device itself. We can see that the USG Pro is flashing. This is the provisioning lights it's going to flash white. Once it's completed its provisioning, it's going to go a solid blue, just like that. And we'll go back to our screen here, and we can show that the device is now connected. It's provisioned properly. It pulled all that information directly from the cloud key from before. So if we go ahead and click on it here, we can see that it's been up for about a minute and two seconds here. It's probably a little longer than that. Uh, the WAN 1 connection is plugged in. This does have two WAN ports, so if you have a secondary WAN, it will show up there as well. Uh, we have one network currently. We are going to be adding some VLANs to this, and we can see all of the um, configuration settings here, port forward, dynamic DNS, uh, forget this gateway, that sort of thing. And you know what? Actually, let's go back to the device and go ahead and upgrade it as well while we're here. Right now it's on 433. So we just hit confirm, and let's get that upgraded to the current. If you go under settings and then go under maintenance and scroll down, you can see the firmware that the cloud key can be on as well as the cloud key firmware. And these are completely independent from the devices themselves. So if you upgrade those devices, don't think that you're also upgrading the physical devices as well. That upgrade is under the device list. So if we're looking at the uh, process for this it looks exactly like the provisioning process and it's a flashing white light the light might go off for a second while it's rebooting but eventually it'll go solid blue as it ups upgrading and it'll go back and say that it's connected again after the upgrade okay uh, that's it and for this video we're gonna take a look at um, setting up VLANs next and that'll probably be about a week out or so um, hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned. Thanks a lot.